Okay, we're going to study fluids, and I guess a good way to begin is with um, Pascal's principle. And it's a principle of continuity, and the idea is if you have a closed system, boop, closed. If I apply a pressure here, then that pressure will be distributed evenly throughout, and we'll get the same pressure over here. Now, uh, some of you might say, and pray tell, what is pressure? Well, it's defined as a force per, per a unit area. Now, if we're working in SI units, folks, what's the unit of force? Newtons, thank you very much. And area? Two-dimensional length? Meters squared. Meters squared, thank you very much. Okay, now, as we often have new units, we have one here. A pascal of pressure is defined as one newton per meter squared. Now, I know there's a lot of P's. There's uh, pressure, and there's pascal, and there's power, and there's little p for momentum. Uh, and we're also going to learn that the Greek letter um, rho, which is this curly looking P, uh, is going to be used for density. Unlike D, which you probably learned in chemistry, physicists use the Greek letter rho to uh, represent density. 